In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up an infinite background that has a curve so all the shadows fall off very softly. This is great for setting up studio lighting in Blender. And if you don't want to just have it on one side, you can make it a corner shape. So it's kind of like a photo swoop in a corner. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and move our cube up. So I'm going to press G, then Z, then one. And that just moves it up to the top. Then I can press Shift A to make a new mesh, and I'm going to make a plane. I'll press S to scale, and I'll scale this up. It's not really important how big this is, but I'm going to scale it just a little larger. Then we can press Tab to go to Edit Mode. I can select this vertex, and if I right click, I can click Bevel Vertices. So now I can bevel the vertices. You see how I'm pulling it in? And when I click at about this range, I can come down to the lower right to get the options. Then I can increase the segments. So you want a, a good amount of segments. So, you know, 10 segments is probably a good amount. And then you can also vary the width if you weren't happy with your original decision. So you want something kind of like this. Then you can go ahead and switch to edge mode by pressing two. And I can click here once, hold control, then click here once. Now I can press E and then Z to lock to the Z axis and go straight up. Now I'm still in edge mode. So once again, I can click here, hold control, click here. This is picking the shortest path. So it selects these all automatically. Then I can right click or press control or command B and I can right click bevel edges. And then it will start to bevel those edges as I reach down. And now I have a nice bevel here. And of course you can change the number of segments that you want if you want it to be a bit smoother. I'm gonna go up to 15. And now I have this nice photo swoop that I can use for lighting. And then if I tab back to object mode, I can right click and shade smooth. So it looks very smooth. And I can also press S and I can scale this up. And generally when you're shooting something with smooth lighting like this, you want the object to be far away. So I can press G, then Shift Z to lock to the X and Y axes. And then now I have this light and everything set up so I can switch to the scene lighting. And then I can move this light by pressing G, then Shift Z to move it over here. And then I can press Alt or Option D to duplicate, then press Shift Z, and I'll move this one right over here. And so now you can see that I'm getting these nice soft shadows. Now in Eevee, you need to increase the, the size and power of those lights a lot. But if I was going to switch my renderer to cycles here, you'll notice that I'm getting that nice fall off alpha into the distance. And of course I can change the intensity of that light. If I change that to something like 5,000, then if I move the lights back by pressing G, then shift Z, I can move this light very far away. And then I can do the same with this one and I can press G shift Z and move it away. Then I can shift click both of them, press G and Z and move them up. So as the lights get farther away, all the shadows will become softer and nice. And then if I tab into the view camera, you can see that I have these nice shadows. And then if I go ahead and look at view and I lock my camera to the view, you can see here, I can get a nice studio render with a nice infinite background. And I can keep moving those lights farther away and changing the intensity to get the lighting setup I need. Let's see how that looks in Eevee. So here in Eevee, we also get that nice soft shadow fall off. And it's a really easy way to go ahead and make a studio lighting setup. So this is how you do it with two walls. You can also easily do this with a single plane. So if I go shift A and I bring in another mesh plane, and then I can press G and then shift Z to move this plane over here, press S to scale. Then if I tab into edit mode and I still have edge mode selected or press two, then I can go ahead and 
just bevel this edge right here after I extrude it. So I can press E, then Z, extrude up, and then I click this edge, right click, bevel edges, and then I can increase the width of that bevel. So now I have a traditional single photo sweep. So sometimes this is the proper setup with a single sweep like this, and other times it's better to have that surround feeling. So no matter what you're doing, you can quickly make infinite smooth backgrounds in Blender with just a few bevels and extrudes. Happy 3D modeling.